What is up, guys? Insomniac here, welcoming you to another Season 4 Summons video. The August Season 4 Summons portal is now up, and we have a new Legendary or 5-star hero which is available, but at a drop rate of 1% so no guarantee whatsoever of getting him unless the game decides to give you a low roll. Just a heads up folks that I am working on another video where I will be reviewing my roster and explaining my decision to only attempt summons from the Season 4 portal and the new Seasonal Events portals and the importance of setting and respecting a budget if you choose to invest any money in playing this game. So please subscribe to the channel if you do not want to miss out on that video. For this month, I did purchase one of the gem and coin packs, which will give me a total of 20 summons. I am still debating whether chasing Captain Nemo is worthwhile, so let's take a quick look at him before we do our summons. All right, so as mentioned, he is a hero of the fire element. He is of the uh, fighter class, so he does have that annoying ability to revive with one hit point. And uh, he is of the underwild family, so we all know that he can uh, summons a gem which causes uh, 50 uh, points of damage every turn. Now what is interesting is his passive ability to start the battle with 20% mana. So effectively making him a very fast hero or very close to a very fast hero uh, for his uh, first uh, casting of his special attack. Now, in terms of his uh, stats, we see that he has a base attack of 821, which is uh, very high uh, in the realm of things. His defensive stats, however, are a little bit on the uh, lower side compared to the newer heroes. Uh, his defense is 751 and his health is 1000. 334. His special attack is the Captain's Cutlass. The attack will deal 300% damage to the target, but with the ability of dealing 600% damage if the caster, being Captain Nemo, has any status ailments or negative stacks on him. All right, so where does that fit Captain Nemo in the pantheon of heroes in Empires and Puzzles? Well, if we start with the fire element, in terms of fire element fighters, we have Elena, who is a fighter. She is, however, slow. She is probably the second hero with the highest base damage at 800 and nine but she does 202 percent damage to all enemies and has the counter attack which helps i guess with her damage another fighter of the fire element is lady loki her base uh, attack is 747 she is of average speed and deals 150 percent up to 278 percent damage and transfers the status ailments to the enemies. Again, she is a hero that attacks uh, everyone. A tier, or tire, T-Y-R, is a fighter. He is fast, just like Captain Nemo. His base damage, however, is 760, and he deals 285%. However, uh, he has a 60% chance of bypassing the defense buffs. He also causes an additional 196 bleed damage over four turns. He regenerates hit points and will resurrect with 32% health 
on top of his fighter's innate ability to revive, so Tyr has much more going for him. In terms of speed now, we know that there is Captain Kestrel, who is a rogue. He is fast. His base is uh, base damage is 727, and he will deal 215% up to 335%, depending on the enemy's uh, uh, mana level. Uh, he deals damage to three enemies, but he has the capacity, of course, to deal that uh, damage to uh, one enemy, so he's up for consideration. Yang Mai, Monk, who is fast, uh, her base damage is 743, and her um, special causes 280%, with a 50% chance of additional hits, but that, of course, can be on other enemies. Uh, Emilio, Gravemaker, Natalia are all very fast or fast, um, but they deal damage over time, uh, other than Gravemaker, who I guess deals 135%, so they are fast, but not really comparable. And I guess other than Tyr, um, Captain Nemo's other real competition in the fire element would be Marjana, who's a rogue. She is fast. She does have weak damage at 669 as a base attack, but deals 458% with an additional 300 damage over 6 turns. So her damage output is very similar to uh, what um, Captain Nemo will do at 300% uh, of uh, 821. And uh, Gefjon, who was a ranger, she is fast, and she deals uh, a base attack of 772 points, but her special causes 500% damage, so she is at 3,500 points, a bit more than that, 3,800 points, um, so obviously causing more damage than uh, Nemo at his 300%, and uh, she also, I believe, steals the uh, minion from her target. So in terms of uh, your red snipers, uh, Tyr, Gevajon, and Morjana uh, certainly could give um, Nemo, Captain Nemo, a run for his money. And um, yeah, I mean, could fit your lineup maybe better than him. Anyhow, uh, let's look at other Comparators from other elements, those that quickly come to mind are Sartana, Wizard, who was fast, uh, base attack of 794, causing 452% damage with 294 damage over 6 turns. Her costume, which is also fast, with a base of 685 damage, but a percent um, on her special of 532%. So she's up there. Kingston, who is a fighter of the nature element, who is fast. Uh, his base attack is 749, causing 445% uh, damage with his special, along with other, um, uh, other special attacks. And really the most, or the closest competitor would be uh, the nature element. Liana, who's a ranger, who is fast, who has a base attack of 729 and deals 512% damage. And that's it for Liana. She is, her card is basically one sentence, similar to uh, Captain Nemo. So Captain Nemo's greatest asset is his base damage at 821. There are many heroes out there who, uh, although fully emblemed, don't even come close to uh, his base attack at 821. So he's going to be a great addition to your mono teams, to your stack teams. He's going to be a big contributor to tile damage, which makes him very useful in all aspects of the game, whether it's titans, raids, wars, tournaments, or even uh, farming. Neo's or Nemo's downside, however, is that he only deals damage. He does not contribute by buffing or cleansing, so there's nothing 
special about him. Uh, he is a pure sniper, and as I said, very similar to uh, Liana. Another one of his downside is his defense. Now, while it is still good compared to Season 1 Heroes, it is, by today's standards, rather on the lower side, making him somewhat uh, vulnerable. So although I can easily see him on Titan and attack teams, I'm not quite sure yet if we will see much of him on defense, especially with Tyr and Gefjon, who have more value to their, uh, to their damage. Assuming, of course, you have them available in your uh, roster. All right, so enough of that. Let's see if we can get lucky at the portal. And uh, first, we will go and do one uh, coin summon. All right, Mr. Hilo. Theater. And uh, we will now proceed by doing a 10 pull. Epic, of course. Have her, have him. Oh, we have lots of this guy. Dawa, hey. Belief. <laughs> Not looking good. Yep, all three star trash. All right, now let's uh, take a look at our chest. Nothing. All right, so now we have 11 token poles. Yep. Hilo, of course. I almost have him fully leveled, by the way, so. Ooh, there we go. Akarog, legendary yellow. I believe he is fast, and he's the one who... Uh, who changes the lineup and then attacks uh, one or two or three heroes, can't remember, but uh, yeah, fast hero. Not that I need another uh, hero of the light element, I simply don't have the materials to level, compass. All right, six more pulls. Let's see if we can get something useful. Poppy, Gramps. Boral. Good old Boral. Oh, maybe I can finally get around to uh, leveling up his costume. More Poppy. Where's this guy? Captain Nemo. Hannah would be a great addition. And uh, Hannah, Elizabeth. All right. Let's see if shaking this up a little bit will help. I guess not. All right. Last but not least. <laughs> Hello again. All right, guys, well, that is going to be it. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Uh, if you've not already done so, uh, please give us a like. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time. All right, guys, take care.